Oh, hi, Mohan. So let me go to inventory. Click on the responsibility, then you can see many <coughs> menus and functions. You can see if you expand any menu, then definitely you can see sub menus and functions. To open the application, you have to click on one of those functions. Let me expand this menu transactions, then any one of those functions. First one sub inventory transfer. I just clicked on sub inventory transfer and wait for the initiation of the form. So if you wait for some seconds, like forms are initiated, Java initiator will be running and it will initiate to open the application completely. Then you can see here. When you open the function. Whenever you are working on Oracle applications, this is the main form. And after that Java initiated form, this is the Java initiated. Then we have finally, this is the form where we are going to work on application. As I clicked on sub inventory transfer, it is asking in which organization you are going to work. I'm going to work on an organization where we have supply chain management and manufacturing. I told you these are all inventory organizations as per our multi org structure. The topmost one is business group in which we have ledgers, different ledgers. Each ledger will be having different legal entities. Each legal entity will be having different operating units and each operating unit will be having different warehouses that is inventory organizations. These are all inventory organizations and within the inventory organization we have sub inventories and within the sub inventories we have locators. Locators are nothing but coordinators like row rack bin. This is all th this is what the multi arc structure we discussed already in the previous classes. Now let me enter into the one organization and let us see the transactions first okay now i'm entering into the organization where we have supply chain management and manufacturing we have two manufacturing organizations wherever discrete is there that is nothing but discrete manufacturing that means that plant it can be planned it can be distribution center it can be warehouse anything that is nothing but inventory organization so i'm selecting this then what of the form I clicked sub inventory transfer that will open but I'm not going to work on sub inventory transfer close it again if you want to open the sub inventory transfer then definitely you can expand this transactions menu then we can go for sub inventory transfer so like this we have to go for go to the application and log into the application and you can start your work as per your roles and responsibility but we are consultants first of all you should know the user activity because as a part of implementation we have different phases of implementation in real time what are the different phases of implementation what is our role in the demo class we discuss what is our role our role will be going to the client study the business process of the client document it then what kind of requirement they are having so definitely you have to do the requirement gathering so that is called rd phase requirement definition where you have to document all the requirements again from the user communities that means you have to go to salesman you have to go to production engineer you have to go to inventory guy store guy purchasing guy buyer salesman all these guys are users for you you are the consultant so they are going to give the requirements you are going to gather the requirement and you are going to document it and the document will be given to again users because users should sign off why because what are the requirements i have given being a user that has been captured by the consultant in the document that's what he is going to make sure then based on the requirement based on the business process study you will come to a decision what kind of solution i can give by using this pre-built application that is oracle application or sap or whatever it may be we are learning oracle applications so in the oracle application we know standard procedure how this system has been built for uses so basing based on the requirement and business process what are the documents you prepared based on those documents you are going to prepare a solution document that solution document 
by using the standard functionalities how can you meet the requirement of the client that's what solution design you are going to capture and you are going to prepare the document that is called solution design once the solution design has been prepared that solution has to be shown in the system to the client so you have to build on your own so what are the transactions they have given requirement that means that is a transaction requirement right you have to do on your own all the transactions you have to give the data you have to fill the data you have to build the data then you have to configure the system then you have to do the transactions all these things you have to do on your own respect to sales or distributions or manufacturing being a supply chain and manufacturing consultant respectively like finance consultant will do the finance activities crm guy crm activities hrms guy hrms but most mostly like every company whoever is the client the client will exist if they have the business like sales and distributions without sales there is no revenue there is no revenue there is no finance department at all there is nothing there is no work for finance in case there is no revenue so these are coexisting any company which is existing then definitely they should use supply chain management if they are into manufacturing manufacturing should be there they are coexisting like supply chain management manufacturing sometimes they are not having manufacturing that means what they are buying the product and they are adding some profit to the whatever the purchased price and they are selling to the customers that's a trading a simple trading like buy and sell that's it so here you have like manufacturing sales distribution and all those things so further like you have designed the solution as per the solution design you are going to show the system to the stakeholders like ceos cfos finance manager production manager general managers all those guys will be there those are called stakeholders in a conference hall you are going to be pilot where you are going to show what are the requirement they have given what are the business process study you have done based on that you are going to show the application to them so these are the requirement given by the user community so as per this requirement i am i have designed the solution and this is the solution this looks like this we have to do the integrated cycle integration integrated cycle means right from requisition somebody raises the requisition okay what are the item you want you raise the requisition that item is not existing in our inventory so you have to buy it so a purchase order has to be created for that you have to search the supplier supplier should be there so you have to whenever you are reaching to the market then you have to search for multiple suppliers so reach the multiple suppliers then negotiate with the suppliers that means rfq request for quotation should be raised with respect to all the suppliers all the suppliers will send their quotations receive the quotations track the quotations compare the quotations then decide the best quotation that means best supplier will be decided when the supplier is been decided then you are going to raise the purchase order that purchase order has to be approved then to be sent to the supplier supplier sends the goods you have to receive it whatever the items you received you have to inspect it accept it then deliver to inventory store it then pay the amount to the supplier whatever the items you received so these are all we are going to see procurement based cycle this is what and you kept the raw material in the store so manufacturing people they start requesting the material whatever they are require in order to manufacture the finished good then store guys to be to issue the material to the manufacturing plant manufacturing people they start manufacturing by assembling all the raw materials and sub assemblies or components and gets the finished good and they again, again they will inventorize into the inventory finished good that finished good once it is available in the store then sales guys comes yeah there is a customer who has asked this fine finished good let me let me reserve this item to the customer so there is a sales order so against the sales order we are going to reserve the item and you make a delivery pick the item reserve the item then make a delivery as per the delivery load the vehicle and ship the item to the customer and build the build the customer that means you are going to receive the cash all the scenarios one by one purchasing guy we are going to be purchasing guy then we are going to do we have to show to the purchasing guys if they agree then we are going to do the production guy we are going to be a production guy we are going to act like a production guy we have to do the transaction everything so in, this is what integrated cycle entire cycle you have to do you are the pilot you are the uh, 
show maker like you are the uh, you have to run the show and everybody will be in the conference hall they have to see and they raise the question you have to answer in case any there is no answer you have to note a point and you have to raise that point you have to show the solution to that point by next day or by next session like like that you know this is what in real time how a consultant is going to play a role then if they satisfy what is the solution you have shown you have satisfied to the you have satisfied stakeholders but doesn't mean that that has been accepted then who are who are the real guys going to work on application those guys are user communities so you have to go to user community and train them you are training them that means first of all whatever the user activity you should know then only you can train that is the reason we are starting with the transactions go to them train them prepare the documentation whatever they need that's what we call it as user manual test scripts you have to click here you have to navigate here you have to click on this responsibility you have to click on this menu you have to expand you have to click on sub menu and you have to expand that and you have the functions you have to click on this function this form is very open we have multiple tabs click on this tab all these things you have to write on the excel sheet that's what test script script uh, given in the material we have the test script user manual startup document everything is there now we train the end user end user will be uh, comfortable fine then we have to build the real system as of now just we to give it, we have given the training only now build the system how to build the system that means you have to get the real data first of all over all the suppliers we have to collect the suppliers from the user communities over all the customers collect the customers over to the customer name build to ship to location and all those things what is the item what is unit of measure what is the category what are the item categories all the items and what are the attributes to be enabled disabled we have to collect on excel sheet that's what master data to be collected in excel sheets after that you have to correct it you have to clean it then prepare csv file what is that comma separated so which is the suitable version for loading the data by using sql star loader or whatever it may be so technical we after collecting the master data by the time you have to complete your configuration that's what we call it as setup we have to complete the setup then we have to collect the master data then that has to be given to the technical consultant and technical consultant they write the query and they load into the test instance first because before going to the production before going to the production see if you observe here this is prod see cloned from prod means what production means prod means production there is an instance it is a copy of that okay real data production system there is a production system. we are not eligible to work on production only users are eligible to work on production but but we have to test it right so for that reason we have to prepare a clone of that so which is exactly exactly equivalent to production but that is meant for our practice our testings our development research and all those things see this is cloned on may 1st that's it it is as same as production by may 1st what all the data is there in the production that was there that is also there in this instance that's what so like that every month it will be cloned it will be updated it is for our practice a real-time data will be built so what are the test instance we play around like we must collect the master data give to the technical consultant technical consultant will write a query and that query with that query and the data will be pushed into the respective tables and we will make sure all the data has been loaded or not by doing the test scenario like all the items are visible or not categories are assigned unit of measures are done all these things we have to test it by doing the integrated cycle again on your own this time user will not be involved on your own you have to do the cycle and you have to make sure yes system has been built data has been loaded configuration has been done successfully that's it build is done you know that is called build phase when you are going to build the system that phase is called build phase we are going to build 
by collecting the master data by loading the data into the respective tables and by configuring the system setup is done system is ready with the data then it's up to the user community when they are going to start the real system that's what go live so by next month first onwards we'll be using the new system that's it that is the go live date till go live whatever the work you have done that is called implementation after go live that is called support post implementation support means what they'll be using the system they get some issues and those issues to be resolved that's what post implementation support project they get issues we have to resolve it and they start using the application for how many months they have to use the new system is meant for their, their you know the, that is going to be permanent system for them so once they are comfortable and they keep on using the application for one year two years three years all of a sudden one more branch has been opened then what happened for that branch also we have to use the same application then we have to implement for that that implementation is not end to end implementation that is called rollout a branch has been opened right and again we are not going to do the, do the requirement gathering business process study solution design gap analysis what is gap analysis you have built a solution right but the solution is not 100% means they have given the requirement of 100% but you met only 75% what about remaining 25 that 25 might be missing as per standard scenarios that you have to build it there the customization there you are going to utilize the technical consultants there you are going to prepare the functional document that is called md50 and based on that they are going to develop the developers our technical consultants they are going to develop whatever the development they have done that will be tracked in md70 that is called technical document they develop something we have to test it thoroughly if it is fine then include in the solution then you reach to 100% solution then they go live this is the different phases of implementation similarly we have support simply they get issues and you have to resolve next we have rollout rollout means they start a new branch new people will be there new locations new organization everything so you have to define as per system logically you have to define it doesn't mean that we have to do again rare requirement gathering and all those things you know that all those things you know that's it after that you have used the application like let us say client has used the application for 5 years then all of a sudden oracle has given a new version you know that right release 12 12 1 12 04 12 1 4 12.1.4 what are those versions whenever you have the versions you have to upgrade otherwise they stop supporting there is no 11a support why you have to upgrade if you are at 11a you have to deal with you have to maintain your support team and oracle is not going to give a support so you have to version you have to upgrade to the version we release the version with the same license you can go for upgradation that's it you have to upgrade when you upgrade most of the work will be dba activity because some of the patches will be released and those patches will be applied in the database that's it that will upgrade the system but whenever you go for upgradation only standard solution will be moved to the latest version but what are the customizations you have done what are the extensions you developed what are the new forms you have developed what are the reports you have developed everything you have to move again manually there we are going to have work again that is the reason upgradation is a separate project this is what our role now come to the actual class okay now in inventory we have transactions we have transactions these are the transactions first we discussed item we need item item will be there 
any item that can be purchased item that can be make item what is the difference between make item and purchased item if you take tata nano car tata nano car itself is a manufactured item whereas tire is bought item purchased item remember a bearing is a purchased item raw material a brake clutch engine everything you bought it sub assembly might be you are buying sub assembly and you are keeping in the store and as and when required you are assembling in order to get the finished goal so in this process let us see transactions we have transactions different transactions in the inventory we have organization we selected organization what is the organization this is the organization within which we have i told you as per multi org structure inventory organization will have sub inventories we sub inventories will have locators let us see now what are the items available in the system i mean what are the items are available on hand quantity is called is meant for to see the on hand quantity quantity available in our store for different items in this particular woo organization so you have to enter if you want specific item you have to click on list of values and if you don't know the item code then always you have to always you have to enter percentage click okay it will show you all the items have you observed here 4630 items are there sometimes you may have 100000 items sometimes you may have 100000 150000 items okay if the company is so big then definitely you will be having that much quantity ge will be having around 200000 items so this is a small company small client so which is having 400 to 600 4600 items these are all item codes in the left hand side this is what description their item is a kind of tarpaulins you know tarpaulins you know that will be used uh if you see car park car parkings mostly if you would have, if you would have visited to foreign countries if you go to dubai most of the times car parking will be having a tarpaulin on top of the shed a plastic roof will be there that roof is nothing but this is that cloth that is nothing but a cloth only that cloth underground with the different processes polythene and they will be adding pvc they will be adding some granules and all those thing coating all this will be there but only thing is basically that is a cloth but you don't it you, you don't remember that but you, you, you don't believe that why because it looks like a fabric but having a life of 20 years 20 to 25 years that's it you know you you can use just like asbestos you know sheets that we use as a, in sheds right instead of asbestos in dubai temperature is very high minimum 45 degrees centigrade so even at that particular temperature day and night the parking sheds are covered with these tar tarpaulins and having a life of 20 to 25 years such a quality so so they have different gates grades of items and raw materials purchased items manufactured items sub assemblies components and all those things these are all okay if you see any item let me take let me take one item okay me take this side what is the item this is the item code find there is no quantity if the quantity is available you will get the results let me this torch meant for find if you keep cursor for any on any icon for 1 to 2 seconds then that will show you for what it meant for okay so torch meant for finding again find means it will go back to the previous form i don't want this item instead i want all the items which are having the quantities simply give nothing can be given 
if you don't give anything it will show you all the items and what is the quantity available for those items see this is the organization we have selected if you expand wherever the plus icon is there you can expand we know our organization is w o o expand on hand we have different sub inventories these are called sub inventories okay wap sub inventory that means manufacturing wap fin means finished goods sub inventory okay like that stage which is meant for sub inventory sub inventory meant for sales what are the item you want to sell a salesman first they receive the item to the stage from the store room then from stage it will be loaded to the vehicle then that vehicle will be shipping the item to the customer mixing is another sub inventory okay now if you select this sub inventory for this sub inventory all these items all these items are existing in this sub inventory only see if you see this sub inventory is having a locator m i x m is the row m is the i is the rack x is the bin like that you have you have sub inventories if you select stays or wip these are all the items raw materials sub assemblies all these items existing in wip sub inventory having wip locator similarly wip finished good these are all the finished goods these are all manufactured items these are not purchased items these are all manufactured items which are manufactured by consuming the material that was existing in mixing existing in wip existing in woc whereas stays is meant for purely sales what are the item you are selling to the customer you have to salesman should receive the item to the stage first from stage as per the delivery the vehicle to be loaded with the items that has been that have been sold to the customer so we will discuss what is stage in the order to cash cycle wip of course this is one of the sub inventories uh, meant for manufacturing what are the raw materials they would require they will request to store and store guys transfer the material from main store to the wip okay so mixing is nothing but one of the raw material sub inventory okay stage is meant for salesmen and wip meant for items that has to be manufactured so by utilizing these items items existing in wip will be utilized to manufacture the finished good that finished good whenever you are manufacturing once finished good has been manufactured that has to be inventorized in wip fin these are all finished goods okay so this is one of the sub inventories woc okay which is having these are the items again now let us see if you take any item this is a finished good item they are all are finished good items okay now where it is existing wip fin and having a locator f i n this is the item if you click on availability see it's a very important question what are the different quantities of the item very important question so whenever i say some something about interview questions you can write down the question okay no need to write the answer anyway i have i am recording and this will be available and i have anyway i have given the audio files in which the question might be there and answer might be, i might i might have given the answer also so but you have to write at least the question these are all interview questions by the end of the class you can get many questions you can get many questions those questions you should be perfect you know with the answer for attending any kind of interviews now here the question is what are the different quantities of item for any item three quantities are total quantity available to reserve available to transact what is the difference between these three quantities it's very simple total quantity is nothing but 
total quantity available in that particular sub inventory whereas available to reserve is zero that means what all these items are reserved against something already this has been reserved that is the reason available to reserve is zero so available to transact it is as same as total quantity why see whether you reserve or unreserved items are available for transaction only you reserved for what purpose you are selling so that means you are giving to the customer that means it is available to transact for issue if you are, if you are doing the issue of the material then all item will go to the customer that means the issue is a transaction so is it available for transaction or not yes even though item has been reserved to customer that at end of the day that has to be given to the customer so it is available for transaction okay item is not available it's not reserved okay let us say we are not assigned to any sales or to any customer but still it is existing existing in the store but some other day you have to reserve it and you have to transact it that means it is available for transaction that is the reason see but sometimes it might be different total quantities may not be equal and available to transact why due to some interface errors some workflow background engine or due to workflow errors or interface errors or pending transactions or in transit in transit means what supplier might have shipped the item items are on the way means items are existing in container container is on the way once the container has been received then only we can see the item right whenever item is on road that is called in transit in transit means it is on the way these are all general terms in our day to day life we use it to listen all these words total quantity is nothing but for that item this much is the quantity existing in the sub inventory okay but available to reserve zero what does it mean means what one reason all these items are reserved against a customer or multiple customers there are some sales orders against those sales orders these it all items have been reserved okay not reserved somebody says items really not reserved but then why it is showing available to reserve is zero items are not reserved means should be available for reservation right might be the difference in, it might be having a different status what is the status if i say what are the items you received from the supplier let us say you bought some 10 items after inspection if you pass it then only items quantity will be counted if you are not in, if you have not inspected how can i say that items are available no somebody has to inspect and they have to confirm that the items are good then only you can say all the items are good and available for sales now total quantity is there available to av available to reserve is zero what are the items you have for every item there is a status what is the status active let us see the avail available to reserve is zero for this item if you take this item okay mm -hmm. then in wipfin okay now let us see what are the items are existing by lot the item is this is the item find that item is having a lot number i told you what is lot number okay see 
there are different statuses what is mrb approved only reservation no atp non netable qc means quality control tested testing pending quality control inspection hold and this item for r and d means research and development there are different statuses when you say it depends upon the status when it is approved it is available for sales when it is qc test means testing is pending you cannot sell this item you can't say item is available in front of you item is available but qc test is pending then you cannot say that item is ready for sales only approved is say meant for sales what is mrb mrb is meant for material review board it's very important question what is mrb material review board what are the items to be reviewed you might have bought it supplier might have sent you just received but with the status of mrp means what there is a review pending once the review is done i can say items are available for sales so that is the reason we have different statuses when the status is approved still available quantity is zero that means that item might have reserved against a customer even though we have not reserved the item still it is not available means status might be mrb then i can't say it is available for reservation the status might be qc test means quality is not quality is pending somebody has not inspected so we can't say that item is available for sales r and d yes research and development it's not for sales that means you should you should not be able to reserve the item against a customer this is how the statuses it's very important question what are the different statuses of item it can be this material review board approved one quality testing pending quality inspection hold research and development all these things are different statuses okay now these are the lots i told you what is the lot what is the difference between lot number serial number i already told you i have given example of tata nano car and a rod having a length of 10 meters if you make rod as serial control what of the rod length we have to consume whole rod if the standard rod size is 10 meters if somebody wants 2 meters you have to cut and give the 2 meters rod only if that is the case a rod can be lot controlled but cannot be serial control similarly i have given an example of tata nano car or any car car is a finished good having a serial number unique number for every car whenever an item which is having a serial number that means it is whole item you cannot sell you cannot split the item into fractions see a rod means standard size of 10 meters rod for me for our company let us say for client rod means 10 meters rod but as a part of manufacturing i want 2 meters rod then you have to cut and you have to give it right when you are giving 2 meters rod it's not one rod it is 0.2 rod that means you have to give only 2 meters rod that means rod can be cut now come to car if somebody asks car i have to give whole car i cannot remove or i cannot cut the car into two pieces take this piece and take another piece to another person can i give like that 
car cannot be split right whenever you cannot split that is called serial controlled item whenever you can split that should not be serial controlled item remember it's very important question what is the difference between serial number and lot number very important question serial number lot number lot number which indicates the manufacturing date based on that the expiry will be decided for example go to medical shop we have medicines all the medicines will be kept in row racks that is what row rack bin in every rack there are row rack bins what is the rack number row number bin number that guy will go to that particular bin and pick the item and give it to you fine they might be having new stock will they keep no first of all they will wait for what are the items existing in the bin that should be completed then only they put the new items because if they keep on selling the new items then what about old items will be having an expiry date when they reach the expiry date you have to throw it into Test bin. Can you use the medicines after expiry? You cannot. Means there is an importance to manufacturing date. Based on the manufacturing date, they give a lot. Lot itself is a manufacturing number. Is a manufacturing date number. Okay. From that date, the shelf life days. What is shelf life days? Shelf. It's not S C E L F. It's S H E L F. Shelf. What is shelf? If you go to medical stall, we have many shelves, right? In the shelves only they are keeping. That's nothing but locator. The shelf. What was the item you are keeping in the shelf? How long you can keep that item in the shelf? Tell me. Simple. Anybody can answer. As long as that item is not expired. means what if you buy this item today from today if you buy a milk can or a juice there is a date you can't use this you cannot use this item beyond so and so date after one week you have to throw it yeah, within one week you have to consume it that means what to what extent you can keep this item into the racks that is what we call it a shelf life days if the item is lot control that can have shelf life days shelf life days plays the important role in use in using the items how this is what best example is medicines see we are learning the application this application meant for any kind of business you are a salesman you are a marketing guy you are a medical guy medical representative all are eligible for this kind of job why simply know your job correlate to the job and know that you know have the knowledge that's it being a marketing guy you know how to sell the product that's it you are good in application because you are expert in function knowledge programmer is different but we are functional consultant you should know the business if you know the business you are the expert that's it it's very simple everywhere whether you are working as an engineer you are working in a make a mechanical engineer or civil engineer or a sales guy or marketing guy or a production guy or a quality tester or whatever it may be everybody eligible for this job only thing is apart from your business no some other business also that means if you are into purchasing know the business of store guy know the business of sales guy know the business of manufacturing guy then only you become a consultant if you limit yourself to your area then you become end user not a consultant we are consultants i am a consultant whereas this is application is used by the end user say a salesman of this particular company that salesman might be having the same qualification as i have but his area is limited now you can see here this is a lot number 
for this particular item items are same have you seen having different lots and each lot is having how much quantity you can see somewhere there's no lot okay it, we have checked in lots right it is showing lots if you take any lot take this lot copy it i can search the lots where lots also go to on hand simply clear and i have the lot number here okay simply enter the lot number as this When you enter the lot number, then you can find with that lot what are the items, what is the quantity of items you can see. Okay, then find. See what is the availability. For that lot, how much quantity is 54 quantities are there? Having zero because already these these lots might have might have reserved. Okay, so this is what. If you want to, in case items are having a status of MRB or QC test or anything, you can update the status by status update. As of now, this lot is having, just now you observe, total quantity is something, 54. Available for reservation is 0. Available for transaction is 54, right? That is update. Here the status is, I want to change it to approved. Okay? It is asking reason. Some of the reasons, let us enter. Okay? These reasons you can define in the system. Update. Then, okay. Now, on hand quantity clear. So you can change the status from one status to another status by like this. You know, by to go, go into tools, then update the status. Okay, that's what you have to do. So this status, you know, this item will be having a status and you can see the status with the updated status. It's basically used MRB means metal review board. QC test means testing for QC, you know, uh, pending for a QC test. When somebody has to test, pass it, then only you can in, in finally deliver it to the storeroom. Else you cannot. Such kind of. So this is what on hand quantity very important on hand quantity what about the three different quantities that you can see in on hand form somebody says metal workbench what is metal workbench don't be confused it's nothing but on hand quantity what is the another name for on hand quantity material workbench you can note it down why because it's entry question what is made? Have you worked on metal workbench? Somebody who doesn't know on hand quantity and workbench both are same. Even if you go to workbench, simply you can see what is the item, what is the quantity, what is the lot. For that lot, what is the quantity available, what is the status, everything can be seen. But the question can be different. Terminology can be different. Because if the company is having warehouse management, they use it to say material workbench, not on hand quantity. If they are not having warehouse management, then only they will say on hand quantity. If they have warehouse, then definitely they will call it as material workbench. This we have to keep in mind. Okay, now.
we are entering into the transactions. Let us say, for example, I want an item. I want an item means what? So definitely a manufacturing guy. A manufacturing guy. He would require some items to manufacture a finished good. Or otherwise, a salesman would require some items to ship to the customer. What is the work of salesman? Salesman always takes care of customers. Customer approaches to the salesman. He confirms the sales order. Based on the order, he ships the item to the customer. Whenever you want to ship the item to the customer, items are existing in storeroom, but you are not the owner of store. That means to ship the item to the customer, you have to request to the store. How to request to the store? The first one is request to the store is nothing but move order. So let us move on to move order. Move order is nothing but request to the store. Whenever you have some items requirement, you have to raise the move order. How to raise? Click on move orders. Double click. It will open. Start creating the move order. This is the move order form. This is the move order form. Number. Number will be generated by automatically. Press tab. The moment you press tab, number will be generated. This is the number. Last time it has been generated already. 754 has been generated already. 55 has been generated now. Somebody says, I want certain item. You have the description. The description is requirement for sales. Let us say it's a kind of you know it's not sales for like let us say for manufacturing. Okay. Okay. Then Come to transaction type. See the list of values. What are the transaction types you can see for the move order? It's move order issue and move order transfer. What is move order issue and what is move order transfer? Very important. You are raising move order. What is move order? A request to the store. Then why it is called as issue? And where you is called as transfer. Let us see. First, I'll go for transfer. Mm -hmm. What item do you require? Before that, it is asking some more details. All the white fields are amended, uh, optional. All the yellow fields are mandatory. That you have to remember. It is thumb rule standard in Oracle. There is a source of inventory and destination sub inventory. What does it mean? If I'm asking certain items, I am from production department. For production department, what is the sub inventory? That is what WIP sub inventory is there. I want certain items at WIP. Okay. What is source? What is destination? Source means from where you are going to get this item. Destination means where you want the item. Finally, for example, sales, ma sales guy requires the item. That means store guy to transfer the material from main store to the sales area. Sales area is nothing but staging. Okay. To get the item to the staging from the main sub inventory. Store means main sub inventory only. To get 
to get the item from main sub inventory that is called source sub inventory ultimately after transfer where it should go where should it go that is called destination sub inventory in the right hand side yes source means you are requesting the item right right that is nothing but move order you are raising move order means what you are requesting to transfer the material because you have selected transaction type as move order transfer from the sub inventory that is called source sub inventory to the sub inventory that is called destination sub inventory in case you are transferring from WIPFIN to somewhere you are transferring right means what what are the finished goods sub inventory you entered as a source from that sub inventory this item quantity is going to be reduced at the same time the destination sub inventory is going to receive this item means the destination sub inventory is going to have increment in the quantities that is the difference okay you are requesting you are from production department but i am concerned about i want this item at my production department that is called wip who is asking is concerned about his inventory why should i bother about source from where the main store guy is picking and transferring why should i bother i should bother after receiving the item should be available where that is what destination sub inventory if i am requesting i am concerned about destination i am least bothering about source sub inventory do you agree for this so source sub inventory i do not require because it's up to the storekeeper who transfers from where he is going to transfer it is head it is his headache not mine so i am concerned about destination where do you want i want a wip that's it because i am from production okay now item what item you want i have to select the item what item let us say i want the first item mm -hmm. this is the item i want see transaction type is defaulting from here how much quantity you want i want let us say for example 104 quantities okay now save it saved but the status is incomplete right now what is the online quantity for this item there is no quantity have you observed here but take the item because i am requesting it doesn't mean that you should have the quantity or not i want this item simply i am raising request that's it whether you are having the item having you are not having the item it is your headache get the item and transfer i want this item so and so date that's it i request i place a request and leave it so i want one or four items but on and quantity zero still i know that now approve it's approved it's move order number take it copy and track in the notepad okay it's approved but there is no quantity remember i take this item copy the item is this is the item okay now move order has been approved it's nothing but requisition move order is what are the item you want you will raise a request that's it that's what we call it as move order that has been approved then you have to take a print of that particular report 
for any move order a request to the store is a document you have to take a print how to take a print there is a report how to run a report for the move order that has been created just just now you can run the report by going to view requests submit new request single request yes okay now what is the report name for the move order just if you don't know the report name enter always if you enter something before percentage that will short out all the letters first letters okay it will it will the values will be shorted by alphabetical order if you press something after percentage that will look for the word anything having this particular value that you entered here let us say i'm checking for move order print right let me search like this that means for between percentage if you enter system will check for move letter move sentence move, move word in any of those reports find see move order pick slip is the one report move order number i know that i have taken this move order number what is the move order number copy the move order number Move order number from and to because I want only one move order print. If you have 10 move orders from 5 to 10, then you can enter one number and last number so that all the move orders will be printed. Move order number from and to okay, print option all I want. Click OK, submit no find after running this report will be running for certain time you have to keep refreshing when you, when you click on refresh it will update the status completed see the output this output you can expand by go to tools and copy file when you copy file that will open in the browser see this is the one this is the move order number this is the item status unallocated pick this is the item and this is the description from the item master okay this is the move order report then take the print, get the sign, and send this scan copy to the store guy or a physical copy. In olden days, it is used to be like this. Nowadays, nobody is using the paper to get the approval and send it to storekeeper to transfer the material to our area. Nobody. So, move order is the report. How to run? Simply. Go to view request, view requests, submit your request, select single request, search the report, okay, now, so any report, it is all inventory value report any report this is the way you, you have to give the parameters and i given the parameters as move order number from n2 and i run i ran the report i'll get a report output by after running this you have to come to here then find the request that have been completed this is the one you are looking for see the output that output is nothing but this one okay this is move order now okay 
So move order has been approved. You know that. What is our move order? This is the move order number. Now this request has been sent to store guy. From production it has gone to store guy. Store guy what he does? He has to transfer the material. How do you? Then go to transact move orders. Enter the move order number. Press tab. Find. See? The same item will be available here as per the move order. This is the item. Okay. Now select this. Then allocate. What is allocate? Very important question. Allocate is nothing but reservation of the item. You are reserving against that. Okay. Now select again. You have allocated. Right. Now. Okay. See, whatever the allocation that is, that is nothing but reservation. Which item is getting reserved? See, first of all, you should know item quantity should be available, right? Then only can reserve. Is that item is available? You don't know. I have to see whether this item is available in the inventory or not. If it is available, then only reserve it. How to? I have gone to, I came to here from where I have selected, then you update allocations. Then sub inventory, available sub inventory I want, I have to select, but there is no available sub inventory. I think. Yeah, before going there, it is asking to enter all. Let us say, I want to transfer from where? This item, I am the storekeeper. I came to know initially I tested on hand quantity. For this item, the sub inventory, I want to take it from mixing. Locator. Locator is nothing but combination of row rack pins. Okay, now we have selected the sub inventory. I told you as per the multi org structure, inventory organization should have at least one sub inventory. One sub inventory, sub inventory should have, can have locators. That locator is nothing but row rack bin. I said, which row, which rack, which pin? It's my right field. You have to enter. If you don't know the rack number, go to combinations. If you don't know percentage, enter the percentage. Click OK. What are the locators are existing? That locator will be taken. But available quantity is zero. And I want to transfer to which sub inventory from mixing to WIP, but WIP which locator you want to transfer? I have to see combinations, then percentage. Okay, this is the locator. I want to transfer from here to here. How much quantity? This much. Okay, but do you have this much quantity? No, there is no quantity. When there is no quantity, can you do the transaction? You cannot do. Then how to bring the quantity? We will park it. We will keep this move order open. When you have the quantity, then only we will do. But first of all, how to bring the quantity of this item into the system? There is a procedure. Let us see. Close it. Cancel. Close it. No. I know the item. To bring the quantity, for doing the transaction, transact move order, 
I would require items quantity. To bring the quantity, there are different options. If it is purchased item, simply you raise the purchase order, send it to supplier, receive the item from supplier. But we don't know <coughs> how to purchase because we didn't complete procure to pay. So without using procure to pay, how can I receive the item? There is a procedure. That's what we call it a miscellaneous transaction. Take the miscellaneous transaction. Then you know the item, right? This is the item. Type. What type of transaction it is? Miscellaneous, right? Type M. When you type M before percentage, it will short by M. That's what I did. Miscellaneous receipt. We are going to receive it, right? Miscellaneous receipt. Then transaction lines. What are the item? I know the item. I just copied. Sorry, it's not copied. I have to copy. Okay, now paste it. Tab. See, quantity zero. I want to receive it where? I want to receive it to mixing. Sub inventory. Okay. Locator. Combinations. Select percentage. Click OK. Press tab. Then how much quantity? I want to receive around 10,000 items. Now, by doing this receiving, you are increasing the inventory value, right? How? This item will be having a cost. What is the cost of this item? Might be having this. This item might be having a cost of $100 or $1,000. One liter or two liter or a gallon. Or this item can be unit of measure having meters, length or whatever it may be. Whatever you are receiving, you are receiving into the store and you are keeping in the store. You are keeping in the store means that item value. You bought with some value, you are keeping in the inventory. Your inventory will be having a value. That means inventory value will be maintained by account only. There is an account maintained for inventory. Whenever I give the amount, whenever you get a salary, your account is having a debit value, right? Positive value. Similarly, you are receiving, right? So definitely inventory value is getting increased. Which account is getting increased? Inventory material account. But Oracle is having a double entry. When there is a credit, there is a debit. When there is a debit, there is a credit. Equal value. If there is a difference, then that difference will go to discrepancy. It will create a discrepancy. So this account, it is asking, which account should I track this transaction? I know ultimately it is going to inventory. Inventory material account is going to be debited with a quantity of 10,000 multiplied by the unit cost. That much value is getting increased. That account we know that is inventory material account because inventory is having account that is inventory material account. But where is the credit? That I don't know. That you have to enter here. I don't know the account combination. Go to combinations. I don't know the number. Press enter. Percentage and enter. First account I will take. That's it. Okay. 10,000 items. Anything else? Mandatory fields? Nothing. Yards. This is length. This item measured by length. Save it. Then. Okay. You received it, right? Item has been received. Okay, now you just now received, right? What is the online quantity now? Let us see. In the mixing sub inventory, right? 
What is the seven entry? Mixing. We receive to mixing, right? What is the item? This is the item. Yes. Find. How much? See. Thousand. Ten thousand. We receive. Ten thousand is available. Ten thousand is available for transaction. Right. Now you have the stock. Now let us go to that move order. This is the move order, right? Just now I created. Now let us complete the transaction. Go to transactions, move orders, transact move order. Select the move order number. Find. Select. Allocate. Reserve. Okay, there is nothing but reservation. After reservation, allocation is disabled. Have you observed? Just now I checked. It was disabled. Why? Already reservation is done. There is nothing to do. Perform uh, another allocation. Okay. Now, if you want to view update allocations, click on view update allocations. See, from the mixing, there is a 10,000 quantity from which one, uh, one out four quantity is to be transferred to WIP. That's what in the WIP locator into mixing locator then save it over that's it transaction complete records applied saved over okay save it done okay that means what so this is what more order will be generated Mode is nothing but request to the store that will be taken print and will be sent to the store guy. Store guy will transfer the material if the move order has been approved. To transfer item quantity should be there in the inventory. If item quantity is not there, they are going to buy. For our purpose to bring the quantity, there is an alternative method that is miscellaneous receipt that we performed to receive the item with a quantity of 10,000 and they kept in mixing sub inventory from where I transferred to the WIP sub inventory where that is the destination organization destination sub inventory where a source sub inventory is mix mixing source means from where you are picking destination means to where you are giving that's it so for today this is enough we can continue tomorrow what else? Do you have any questions?